Hello YouTube, welcome back to a new video. Actualis here and today we're going to be going over Pixel Starships 101 Crew Training. So, number one, what is training? Well, it's a mechanic in game that allows you to increase a certain attribute on a crew. Some people may call them stats, but it doesn't really matter. It basically makes your crew better at what they're doing without the need for items such as let's say the Red Officer shirt which increases weapon skill. So I am actually making this video because it's what you guys voted on. If you look down there, I have a community tab, you guys should check it out. Or you could also leave a comment asking me for what you want me to make my next video on. So, moving on. There are two rooms for training, which are the gym and academy. When you upgrade them, you get more grades of training, which is green, blue and gold. But I'll go more into depth on that later. You also get consumables, but I'm not going to go into that now since there are so many of them and most of them are event specific while they do basically the same thing. So I'm not going to go into them in this video. I can make another separate video on them if you guys want me to, but I won't be doing that right now. So, as I said, there are three levels of training, which are green, blue and gold training. They take 45 minutes, 3 and 12 hours respectively. The more research you put into training in the lab, you will get less parasite stats, which allows you to get perfect training. I'll go into what perfect training is later. But that's basically why you want to be upgrading your gym and academy before you try to get perfect training. Remember, all types of training cost minerals, however they don't cost very much and it won't really be an issue for you by the time you want to do perfect training. So, fatigue. This is what will actually allow you to get perfect training like shown below. As you can see that Lilith, pictured below, has 75% training on weapon and only 6% on silence and pilot 1%. You actually can get it better than that, but that's simply the example I'm showing now. Now you get gift now you get different levels of fatigue from each type of training. Green gives you one, blue gives you six, and gold gives you twenty-four. Now this is a fatigue chart. Once you're doing your training, you'll want to look back at this chart, maybe memorize some of the faces, because this is basically going to show you how to follow the guide, because you need to know how much fatigue your crew has in order to get perfect training. Now, how do you actually get perfect training? Well, it's quite simple, and I've condensed it down into just a few steps for you. 1. Do green training until your crew has 11 to 20 fatigue, which if you go back to the chart earlier, you'll be able to see what face that is. And then, once you've got 11 to 20 fatigue, do gold training until your crew has 91 to 100 fatigue. Remember, you never want your crew to drop down in fatigue any more than it has to, because that increases the chances of you getting parasite stats, which as shown before are the 6% on silence and 1% on pilot on that Lilith, which you didn't want on there. 3. Let your crew rest until they have 21 to 30 fatigue, and then train gold again. As I said before, you can refer back to the chart earlier. And then step 4, repeat step 3 until you have trained 45% of the crew's total training points. For instance, if there are 100 available training points on the crew, you'd want to have trained 45 of those training points. You can then do gold training at the following levels. 55% training points used, fatigue 11 to 20. 65% training points, points used, fatigue 1 to 10. Past this, do gold with no fatigue. I'm just going to give you guys a quick warning. There is a soft cap on training past 50% training on a single stat. Now what that means is that you might need to use consumables. Because for example, if I have a crew with 100 training points and I train 50 points on HP, it's very unlikely that I'll be able to get past that 50 HP point without using a consumable. It's just because it becomes so unlikely you'll be there for ages, just use a consumable. Thank you guys, I hope this guide helped you, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and leave comments with what kind of guide you want to see in the future.